uh, I work in SL2 full time. I'm a new staff. So uh, one of the first projects that I did uh, with the company is to run a hackathon. Uh, so the purpose of this hackathon, right, is to redesign the F and B bottle cap for the elderly as well as people with disabilities. Okay, so our client was uh, Nippon Closures. Um, they are a very big Japanese company. They they uh, manufacture about something like twenty percent of the world's F and B uh, packaging. Uh, it was held over two months, from September to November, um, and the uh, participants. Uh, we had about thirty groups of participants. They are students and working adults. All right. So this is the timeline of the, the entire hackathon process. So it was it was over two months. Uh, so in between there were like workshops, and then uh, they we helped them to refine the the prototype, and we also got feedback from the engineers from Nippon Closures, and. Uh, <coughs> The presentation was uh, just concluded about two months ago. Okay, so before the hackathon started, right, um, <clears throat> you need to understand the the purpose statement of why you're doing hackathon, and also do research onto the market and uh, understanding the stakeholder needs. So for that, right, since our we wanted to design for the elderly and people with disabilities, we actually did quite a bit of research. So uh, I'll show you a two-minute video about the. Uh, how how we did it? Consumers want disclosures of high functionality, but also ones that will enjoy. As such, we embark on a journey to better understand our users, particularly the elderly and people with disabilities, to move to the disclosures of universal design. Okay, so uh, we did a lot of research. We, sp we spent a lot of effort in trying to understand the needs of the, uh, the users, right? So that helped the participants to ideate a lot better. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so I have another two-minute video to show you the entire um, summary of how the hackathon went.
Okay, so um, throughout the hackathon, we, we de uh, deployed something called the design process. It's from IDO. So in the design process, there are a few stages. The first starts with empathy. So empathy is the part where we went to the users and interviewed them about the struggles they have with opening a F&B bottle caps. Right? Then we help them to define the, the problem statement. Right? Then after that, they'll, they'll uh, ideate and then they'll start prototyping and testing with the, uh, with the elderly. So we invited some, some people here, the elderly and uh, people with disabilities to actually test the prototype. So uh, we followed the, the design process quite closely. We, help, we also uh, helped some workshop for them how to uh, 3D print. Uh, we taught them some 3D printing techniques, you know, because they, 3D printing is the best way to prototype, in this case, for the, the bottle cap. Uh, we gave them a workshop on universal design, which is inclusive design. Um, and also about, uh, we gave them some tips about how the manufacturing process actually works so that when they design it, they understand how to design the cap in such a way that it can be easily manufacturable. We also uh, had some rounds of user testing, user testing, and then there were at least two uh, iterations of the prototype. And we also asked the engineers all the way from Japan to do a Skype interview with the participants to give them feedback on the prototype. Okay, so this was the judging uh, criteria for the competition, right? So it has to be, it must fulfill the purpose of uh, help, the elderly must be able to open it, now, obviously. Uh, it's, it's innovative, it's not out there yet. Uh, it's actually feasible in the, for manufacturing and also uh, how they present it during the, the, the finale. Okay, so these are the driving criteria. Okay, so I'll run through the, some of the, the team uh, entries to give you an idea of what uh, what the um, <coughs> entries look like. So this one is, uh, you, you press it and then uh, you, you open through the, the hole there. Um, and this one is using gears to, talk, to, to increase the torque, all right, so that you use less strength to open it. Okay, then this one is, uh, is, uh, is how you do it, just pop it in, pop it in to open it. So when you pop it in, you, you can uh, release the safety seal, and then you can start drinking. Okay, so this one is um, a very simple one. You just, it's, it's basically one giant cap, and then you turn it. There's a, yeah, it's easy for you to turn it. And you can also use your, your elbow or your, your chin to open it. You don't have to use your hands. This one is uh, using ma ma magnets, all right? So there's a magnet that, um, after you turn it, it will, the magnets will help to push it open. This one is, uh, you turn using that, uh, that little knob there to turn it, right? Quite simple. This one is uh, also magnets, very similar, using magnets to the other, to the other one. Okay, this one is, you, you poke with your finger and then you lift it up. Uh, this one uses, it's quite interesting, uses suction. So uh, there's a cap there, right? You stick it to a wall or even your phone, you can use a phone and then turn it. Okay, this one is uh, <coughs> it's a sliding motion, right? So uh, one of the team members here, Ching Yi, yeah. So yours is sliding, right? It's sliding, right? Yeah, so it's a sliding motion. This one is uh, it's a tap, just tap it to open it and then you spring, spring open. So uh, the winning entry was actually uh, this one. So this one first prize because um, it, it's easy to open and it uh, is quite innovative. The shape is quite unique. You know, you can stack it up easily, easy to manufacture, can open easily. Yeah. So this one first prize. And then uh, this one, uh, your third prize, right? Third prize. Yeah. This is the third prize. And then. Uh, This one won second prize. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm going to do.